So over here you can see that I got four nodes and if I were to go around and make changes to one of these nodes, uh, let's see properties right here, then what happens is that it only affects out this particular clip. But the other clips that you see right here, it isn't affected. So if you want to go around and then use nodes to um, affect out all of the uh, clips, then you can go around over here on the top and click on this little dot right here, which you know, see timeline. You can also go around over here on to clip and timeline as you can see right here. So this is the timeline and here what you can do is you can right click, you can go on to a add node right here just like this and go on add in let's say a connector. So I'm just going to go around add in the connector right here uh, from the input and on the output section just like this. So this is what you have. So now on this particular node, you can go around and select this node, make changes to this. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go around and change, let's say, the offset right here and make it more red, as you can see. So now what happens is that this is what you have on the timeline node. And if I were to go to the other clip right here, you can see that the effect is there on this particular clip as well and on this particular clip as well. So what is happening is that the entire timeline gets affected when you utilize a timeline node right here compared to what you have in the clip level node. So if I were to click on another clip right here, you can see that there's uh, separate nodes right here. But as soon as I click on the timeline, you can see the node right here. So you can go around and make the changes. So you can just go around, pull this back and let's say I'm going to make it a bit blue. So what happens is that it affects out all of the footages right here. So there's individual level of nodes and timeline node as well. And just like uh, with the regular nodes, you can go around and add in nodes uh, right here. And then let's say, for example, I'm just going to go around with the connector. So I'm just going to go around and add the connector in here and on the output. So over here, you can make further changes according to how you like as well. And there you go. There's the initial node right here and there's the node. You can go around and hide those particular nodes, the timeline nodes, and then you got the changes accordingly in all of the clips that you have in a particular timeline. So that is how you can work around with a timeline node inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.